First thing to check here is the glow plug fuse, 100 amp fuse. And we can tell visually looking down, this is not blown. And then we'll also do a quick continuity check. All right, so it's got continuity, that's good. Now we're gonna verify that we have power at the glow plug relay. So this is the glow plug relay. Uh, it's the one sitting about here on my vehicle. And this thick brown wire in here, that is the feed from uh, that fuse that we just tested. And so I've got my meter hooked up here. And you can see we're reading 12 volts. So we've got power to the relay. Now I've got my meter hooked up to the output of the relay, the yellow wire the, with the black tracer. So a big yellow wire. We are reading no voltage. We'll go turn the key on. We should hear this relay click and we should see voltage coming through. And we have our 12 volts and the relay clicked off. The relay is turning on correctly. It is trying to give power. We do have power going out to the glow plugs. Now we've got our cylinder number one glow plug lead disconnected. We're hooked up to a meter and we'll go turn on the key. And we have 12 volts, glow plug, and then off. So we are getting 12 volts up to the glow plug as we should. Okay, we have a meter lead clamped down onto the glow plug, way down there, back out. So we're clamped on to the glow plug. We're clamped onto a ground on the intake manifold there, and we have no continuity. Now, just for a sanity check, we have another positive lead. We can go down. So we are making continuity to the intake manifold. Do the same thing at the head. So we verified continuity where we would expect it and we're still not seeing it from the glow plug. So we've basically verified that the power coming up to this glow plug is good. Uh, and we've gotten down to actually check continuity through the glow plug and we have no continuity. It means it's burned out, needs to be replaced. Uh, no telling how many of these are like that, but uh, if one of them's like it, multiple could be. And so uh, they're just kind of hard to get down to there to test, but uh, we'll just go ahead and replace them all. All right, last step, I'll go ahead and plug this back on so I don't short it out against anything. So I'll fed it underneath there. Now I need to go up on top there, which I'll do with the pliers, and then I'll get some new glow plugs ordered. Alrighty, thanks for watching.